One is Claudio Giuliano. Claudio is the CEO of Indigest, uh, probably the largest VC fund in Italy. And in addition to this, he is also the president of the VC committee of IFI, that is the Italian Association for uh, Venture Capital and Private Equity. By the way, before, before he starts, let me just highlight something. Uh, these people, Claudio, Marco, Paolo, who um, who will talk soon, are um, as presidents of their own associations. They are the ones uh, who are members of the Italia Startup Visa uh, Committee. So they are the ones that um, looked through your applications and voted in favor um, mm -hmm. of your uh, applications. So just for your information, Glad I think this is very good to say. It's, it's working. Simple. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's great. So um, uh, just a few information about the uh, venture capital the, uh, um, ecosystem. So we're talking about uh, uh, the funds. Um, well, first of all, the uh, the association that groups all of them is uh, is IFI. So if you if you are lost or if you don't remember names, you know you can go to www.ifi.it and find all the list of uh, private equity and venture capital funds. So all venture capital funds are pretty much listed there. Um, so well, how is the um, environment? Well, it's. Uh, it's getting stronger, uh, definitely. Uh, we, you probably know about the, uh, the incubating and uh, you know the number of uh, uh, what we call the, 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 the innovation, innovative startups and so forth. But there are uh, more than twenty um, uh, venture capital funds formally established, um, and we, we'll see some names later on. Um, and actually, you know, more are uh, fundraising. When uh, we at Indigest started, there were probably uh, three of us. So it's uh, it's it's growing, um, both in quantity, in quality, and in the amount of uh, of capital raised. So this is, um, you know, the the trend. Uh, we are still, you know, around the 100 million. Uh, euro of uh, uh, venture capital investment per year, which is not very much, but uh, two, two, uh, two points. One is, is definitely growing, and 2016 is set to be a, yet another year of uh, very high growth for uh, venture capital funds. Then the second element is that uh, you know, there is an, an enormous uh, amount of leverage uh, behind these numbers. If I just look, for instance, at uh, uh, Images Capital, uh, my firm, uh, for each euro uh, that Images has invested in its portfolio companies, more than three euro of other private individuals or private ven or venture capital funds have uh, joined uh, the, the company and strengthened the, uh, the, the financial uh, balance sheet of the company. Um, so, you know, Italian venture funds, I guess, tends to be more collaborative. Uh, uh, often you see a round of financing made of uh, two or three funds, uh, and often you see, and increasingly you see the participation of uh, uh, foreign funds, uh, European and US funds uh, to the table. Um, so where typically these investments are concentrated? Well. I would say the, the usual suspects, which are uh, you know life science, ICT, digital, but also a specific uh, um, uh, focus on uh, manufacturing, where and uh, you know especially high precision uh, mechanics and um, new manufacturing uh, tools and uh, and services, where Italy has a, a pretty strong uh, you know background and industry. Um, are we doing well? Well, you know, we, we try uh, we try to be humble, and uh, a, a, every a, you know every quarter we try to do better than the quarter before. But numbers uh, pretty much prove that our companies uh, definitely perform uh, way way better than uh, the, the average benchmark. And so this is uh, you know this this is a, a level of comfort. Uh, um, uh, of course, uh, you know we are mainly motivated by uh, financial. Uh, uh, return and the exit uh, uh, of the company, uh, 
uh, uh, both through you know trade sale or, uh, or or IPO. But at the end of the day, you know your your uh, exit uh, is dependent on uh, how the company grows healthily. Uh, you know becomes a real company, generates real revenues, uh, produces real products, and you know more and more um, this is this is happening. So that's um, <coughs> this is a, a kind of a, a map of uh, the venture capital uh, ecosystem in Italy. Um, you see the the twenty companies, uh, the twenty firms uh, we, we mentioned earlier, um, and actually it's uh, it's growing. There are a number of firms which are not listed here, who um, uh, who are fundraising as we speak, and uh, we. We see 2017 and 2018 as years where the the, the number of players will be uh, larger, uh, will be increasing. Now, this is good news. It's good news for you as uh, companies, but it's also good news for us as investors. I mean, it's uh, and that's because in venture capital competition among funds is often uh, not competition but cooperation. Uh, you see, you know, rarely. We compete among uh, venture capital funds. So more often, you see funds that focus on seed stage or even pre-seed stage, like uh, you know Primo Milio, who recently launched, um, and you know just uh, uh, making sure that there is the right uh, uh, KPIs and uh, metrics for uh, uh, early stage funds to come in. An early stage fund they prepare, of course, the ground for uh, round B and the later stage funds. So. You know the, the the system is uh, is definitely growing, uh, and also you you, you see uh, in this chart uh, more or less you know how uh, the appetite for stage is distributed. Uh, for instance, us as Inagest, we are pretty much stage agnostic, but certainly centered in the in the early stage as a sweet spot where we do seed stage and late stage. Equally, you know some of, of the other funds have also. Um, their specific uh, um, uh, strategy, uh, but you know um, the the best thing is is really to go, go out and, and, and check yourself. I mean, um, there is no better way than just uh, if you are raising capital or if you are thinking about raising capital and uh, uh, think about who could be the right uh, partner. Uh, you know, just. Uh, uh, go and uh, and call, uh, pick up the, the the phone or send an email. Um, I, you know, may, it may say, sound uh, strange, but we, we tend to re to to reply pretty quickly. Uh, actually, since a couple of years at Inno, just uh, we do we do track uh, continuously uh, the, the rate of uh, the, the the time of response, and the time of response as is reduced to about uh, uh, less than three days for a first uh, first uh, iteration. Um, so, and e equally, other funds, uh, uh, you know, are going into the same direction. Um, so, you know, we have uh, in a number of uh, good stories and success stories who have uh, contributed in uh, becoming global brands or in uh, bringing to the market uh, uh, important. Uh, Product, for instance, in the life science uh, arena, that have uh, changed uh, significantly situations uh, where there was an unmet medical need. Um, <coughs> last point is uh, is around the address to go. I mean, again, if you have doubts, um, uh, you know, and you don't remember some of the names, go to www.it. But there is also another. Uh, website you can uh, check out, and that's the uh, Venture App website. Uh, it's uh, a marketplace uh, sponsored by the the, associ the, IFI, the Association of the Venture Capital Funds, where you can easily lo log in and uh, post your uh, your um, uh, business plan, and that business plan get uh, automatically is uh, sent to the appropriate uh, funds, which are the funds you have uh, in, in the segment you have chosen. For instance, if you have chosen, if you are in the ICT arena, it will, it, in seed, it will be sent to the funds that have appetite in the ICT seed. If you, have, uh, if you are in early stage in a medical device, equally that will be sent uh, to all the funds that have appetite there. 
also some uh, important uh, corporate venture capitalists as well as uh, uh, venture capital funds as well as uh, some uh, um, leading uh, family offices who are very active uh, in uh, early stage investment and venture investment are part of uh, uh, the venture up uh, program so with this you know uh, i hope i uh, the, we, we we talked uh, uh, enough about uh, you know where to go so go to to the, to ife or venture up uh, how to approach which is you know just go don't, don't be shy um, you know uh, we, we love to hear your stories we love to uh, get your business plans uh, you know sometimes it will not match uh, uh, individual fund uh, um, individual fund um, uh, appetites uh, but often will give you uh, the uh, the reason why and, and, and by the way you know there are really different appetites I mean this this word is uh, is pretty spot on uh, there are numbers a, a number of situations where you know, I see my colleagues, uh, colleagues, you know, uh, uh, disliking other funds' investments, and equally, you know, other funds disliking the first. So I, I mean, there is appetite. The reason why an investment is done is because, of course, there is uh, a great product, a great team, a great uh, market opportunity. But equally, uh, that that is done because a specific fund is uh, as an history in that and as an experience in that specific uh, segment and uh, you know you just need to find that um, uh, if you, you you can be a, a perfectly um, a suitable investment and go to 10 venture capital fund and just find one or two that uh, entertain the conversation it doesn't mean that the other because the other eight don't entertain that uh, there is something wrong in your business plan. It's just that sometimes, uh, there may be, but it, it just uh, most often uh, uh, there is, uh, you know, less, uh, uh, less attention or less expertise in your specific domain. So go out, um, check out, I mean, uh, establish uh, uh, the, the contact and very, very often in straight without, it's, it's perfectly fine to do it without intermediaries. Thank you very much, Claudio. Um, what can I say? Guys, don't be shy. I know that having Claudio and investors in front of you is quite scary. I'm quite scared too, but like, don't be shy and please take uh, advantage of this very um, important situation and just um, ask us whatever you have in mind. Just before um, we pass to their questions, I have a couple of questions for you. So what is the most uh, usual mistakes? Uh, what, what are the most usual mistakes you see among uh, entrepreneurs when they get in touch with you and they propose a business to be funded? Um, I don't know if that's a mistake. I mean, it's easy to talk about mistakes and uh, uh, um, then you know, it's very hard to, 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 to to, to be proactive and build uh, and build stuff. So uh, I would say that the, the thing that is most uh, that I find a pity is when the entrepreneur tries, uh, you know, in, in any way to convince the investor that uh, they need to invest. So um, uh, rather than finding in the investor a, a, a potential partner, I mean, you should treat the investor really as uh, really as a partner, as a friend, someone that uh, knows about that market. Uh, if, you have, you know, if you do your due diligence about the investor, you know that uh, you know, they prob that investor has probably some experience in, in, your, in your market that can give some sort of uh, uh, point of view, some, uh, uh, some advice uh, and so on. I mean, we as investors, we love to invest. The, the sooner, the quicker, the larger amount of money we can put to work, the better. And uh, you know, we we love to entertain discussions on how to create value, um, and um, we love to you know also contribute to to entrepreneurs who who are searching also for the right uh, for the right uh, way. Uh, I mean, when, when a company is ready and it's. it's uh, can be your company today or uh, your company you know few, few months from now after some more uh, 
reiteration and, uh, and more thinking and more work is, is going to your project. But uh, once a product, once a company is ready, um, you know, we just, we, we love to partner and, and, and to go ahead. So don't, 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 don't think of, uh, of your potential investor as someone on the other side of the table. Um, it's really going like uh, to, to meet your, uh, your best friend, but who's an expert in your field, who, can, who has a relevant network and say, hey, that's, this is my projects. That's what I have understood and what I have not understood. That's how I plan to better, uh, uh, you know, uh, understand what, what I, I don't know yet. And, uh, you know, let's work together. Thank you, Claudio. So we have another question, this time from Russia, from Ilya Kaludzin. The business plan must be in Italian. Absolutely not. If you go to our website and most of our colleagues' website, other funds, uh, our own fa our own website uh, is in English. Thank you. Another one, this time from, Stephanie. again, from Stephanie. So Claudio, how can someone like me bridge the gap between an accelerator, I'm at H Farm, uh, and seed, and funding. seed funding. The feedback I've gotten from funds that I've spoken with say that we are too early stage. There are specific uh, investors. Well, there are specific investors in, in seed. Um, um, and, you know, again, you may have, uh, you know, we, we need to be, to be pragmatic here. Maybe uh, there is still some work you need to do. Or maybe you have not found the, the, the right fund, which has the right expertise which in your field, which translates into excitement for what you're doing. And that's normal, even in the US, even in, in Israel. If you go to, the, uh, to, to a venture fund that uh, either got many years ago, you know, some bad, some bad uh, uh, experience in that specific field, you know, they are burned out and they don't want to touch that field, or uh, you know they don't have enough expertise, and you know once you find someone who has uh, uh, who has excitement for your uh, segment, uh, you know everything is easier. And so so don't, don't stop uh, to the to, to the first two or three funds. I mean go and chat with others. I think if I may say that um, you know you may consider venture capital uh, going on roadshow on with uh, venture capitalists as a way to get. Uh, free advice and free consulting. At the end of the day, you know, you get uh, an hour, hour, hour and a half uh, discussion, sometimes in depth, sometimes with follow on, and you know, it's value for you. And at the end of the day, you may have some, the worst thing that can happen is that uh, you spend some time, you got some advice, and you got some contact, and so you got some uh, com uh, uh, points of view that are complementary to what uh, to, to what you know and uh, what you have. Um, the best thing is that you also get money. Can I add something? Uh, because uh, after you, there is the uh, intervention of uh, Paolo Anselmo, could be maybe helpful for every stage because uh, business angels also uh, are very, uh, sure. very important for every stage. Um, what do you mean, uh, there's another question, um, about this, what do you mean by early stage? When we mean early stage in Italy, we intend to say, okay, in, in uh, to me, so let, let, let's consider, uh, I mean, s different segments and different industry have different uh, uh, definition. For instance, in medical device, for me, an early stage is uh, a, a device that has uh, proof of concept uh, through uh, I would say uh, through uh, um, uh, animal tests, initial animal tests. Okay, so uh, in uh, in ICT digital, uh, again it depends if this is a SaaS model, is it digital model, is it commerce or any, anything. But uh, typically you have uh, the very first customers. You probably have uh, uh, you know below hundred of thousands of uh, of um, of revenues, but you have the first matrix that prove that uh, uh, customers like you and uh, um, you know come back uh, to uh, to buy your service or product. Uh, before that, it's it's, it's seed. Okay, there is another questions. Well, actually, we have two. One is again from Lalit Geltam. Um, he asks. 
a very general question, in my opinion. How, uh, how, how is it that the Italian venture capital market is so different from many other European countries? And, and then what points do we have to consider before pitching to venture capitalists in Italy? I'm not sure why you say it's different. It's smaller, but it's growing. I don't, I don't know any other... I mean, again, when we started in 2007, we were three, now we are 20. So, you know, we are, we are, uh, we are smaller, but uh, uh, have a high rate of growth. I could not uh, easily say, you know, one element that distinguish in terms of style. I mean, our seed focused venture capital funds are pretty much like the seed focused venture capital funds in, in, in uh, UK or anywhere else. Um, our early stage equally and late stage as well. I mean, it just, uh, and of course being, being smaller ecosystem, you don't find maybe uh, the, uh, all the level of choices I mean, that you find uh, somewhere else. Um, I mean, you may find, for instance, uh, funds that are just focused on artificial intelligence in the Silicon Valley. Well, artificial intelligence is a big, is a big uh, uh, trend, but uh, uh, it's, you know, you have just ICT funds here, or digital funds here that also do artificial intelligence play. So, and uh, how was the... Uh, he was asking for tips on how to pitch towards Italian venture capital funds. Uh, I would pitch to, to any venture capital fund, which is, you know, by being uh, uh, very prepared, by doing your homework, um, and, you know, be ready to discuss. Okay. It's, it's, a pitch is not, uh, uh, starts with a, a one-way monologue, you know, from, uh, from the entrepreneur, but it's really a two-way uh, discussion. Cool. Um, Lalit was also asking about, um, about um, alternatives to uh, venture capital, that is public funds or uh, public loans on, uh, on, 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 on bank credit. But this was um, the object of the first webinar we had. So we have basically the Smart Start Italia program, which is public funding, zero interest rate, uh, for, for noted startups. We have the public guarantee fund on bank loans that covers up to 80% of loans uh, provided by private banks to uh, startups up to 2.5 million euros. And then we have also as an alternative to um, bilateral investment from uh, business angels or venture capital funds, we also have um, the equity crowdfunding tool that is very interesting. Um, but again, this was uh, more the topic of the first webinar. So I'm, I know, Lalit, that you were not there the first time, but don't worry, uh, we'll be able, first of all, you can uh, check out the, the, the slides that we, that we shared uh, with you uh, via email. And secondly, should you have any specific question about these uh, topics, just uh, drop a line. You know that you have the info.italiastartupvisa at misc.gov.it. Uh, email address uh, to which you can make any sort of question and we um, answer with enormous pleasure. Uh, there's another question to you, Claudio. Um, can the place of startup uh, legislation in Italy or its specialization have any influence on fundraising? So basically, uh, Andre is asking whether there's, in your opinion, any uh, linkage between Italian startup regulations and the size and the quality of the Italian venture uh, venture capital market. Well, certainly legislation has increasingly helped uh, both companies and the venture funds to uh, to raise more money by providing a number of uh, incentives. Um, but then, you know, uh, I. I'll, I'll speak more like like images if you don't mind, and just to, I, I mean, of course, you will find in Italy, you, you know, some specific uh, appetites that are linked to to the history, you know, of uh, uh, the players around the table, and uh, you know, for instance, as far as we we are concerned, we, we like a lot companies that are uh, centered on uh, if it is ICT digital, uh, the food value chain, the food tech, the fashion value chain and the financial value chain fintech. And if you talk about uh, uh, medical device, then, you know, we love uh, 
uh, cardiovascular, neurology, oncology, because we have seen lots of uh, uh, consistently within the last uh, decades, you know, uh, good research and co good companies coming out of these uh, segments. Okay, very last one. Um, so Michael Danowski uh, asks, what are the chances to get support for ecotech projects which may get good connection to green energy topic and cogeneration? Application for green tariffs? It's quite uh, unclear to me, especially the last part, mm -hmm. but I um, think, yeah. You, you know, there are some funds who, who were pretty focused on that and uh, I would say Atlante on, on one side and um, uh, you know Invitalia are, are pretty active there um, so pr maybe Invitalia is a very good place to start actually since uh, it, it is a, a co-investment uh, facility they have a, a, a broader knowledge of uh, of this uh, of this segment also Enel as as a good corporate uh, uh, venture venture program okay very last question from myself, uh, just a few tweets, as many people would say nowadays. Uh, your feeling and your vision about the corporate venture capital industry in Italy? Uh, I mean, it's growing and it's, it's fundamental. Uh, for instance, globally, uh, I'm, I'm seeing, uh, you know, a huge shift in medical device. For instance, in global, I'm talking at uh, US uh, and uh, Asian level. Uh, in, in European level from increasing um, uh, uh, participation early stage deals of uh, corporates that eventually may be large acquirers. That's something that, uh, you know, 15 years ago when I started uh, this, uh, you know, venture in the venture capital world was like, uh, uh, you know, a, a big question mark and we were a little bit scared, but it's, it's working a great deal. And especially because m most corporate have uh, matured um, their investment strategy. They know that they, they need to support financially without uh, being too much into uh, the governance of the, um, of the company and not uh, asking for, uh, for uh, uh, limitations to, to, to exit. So it's going, going great. Italy is, uh, is growing. Enel, Enel and uh, Telecom Italia are two great uh, examples.